hello guys welcome to another video in this video we will learn about the 10 steps of salt method that is um, sloping agricultural land technology salt is an improvement over existing technologies it is a simple effective method of farming uplands without losing topsoil to erosion it consists of the following 10 basic steps and the steps are first step is making the a frame a frame is a simple device for laying out contour lines across the slope it is made of carpenter level and three wooden or bamboo poles nailed or tied together in the shape of a capital letter a with the base about 90 centimeters wide a carpenter's level is mounted on the crossbar here you can see in the picture uh, the um, here is the three bamboo poles and um, here is the carpenter uh, carpenter level and this is the capital letter a frame a frame capital letters he, he, this is the main equipment of salt method then next step is determining the contour lines one leg of the A-frame is planted on the ground and the other leg is swung until the carpenter's level shows that both legs are touching the ground on the same level. A helper drives a stake beside the frame's rear leg or first leg. The process is repeated across the field. The contour lines should be spaced 4.5 meter apart. Here you can see in the picture that um, here is the first leg of uh, A-frame and here is the second leg of A-frame. Uh, a and uh, using by uh, this frame, um, they, they level the ground at, at same position and uh, uh, making the contour lines. Then third step is um, uh, cultivating the contour lines. On meter strips along the contour lines should be ploughed and harrowed to prepare for planting. The stake serves as a guide during ploughing. Here we can see that um, uh, they are cultivating the contour lines, which is um, created by a frame. Then, num fourth stage is uh, planting seeds of different nitrogen fixing trees and shrubs. Along each prepared contour line, two furrows should be laid out. Uh, two or three seeds are planted per hill with a distance of 12 cm between the hills. The seeds should be covered firmly with soil. When the hedgerows are fully grown, they hold the soil and serve as a source of fertilizer. Examples of suitable hedgerows species are uh, Flamingla, Macrophylla, uh, Caliandra, uh, Caliandra calothyrus, uh, Lucena leucocephala, etc., etc., that which are the nitrogen fixing trees. Then, uh, fifth stage is um, cultivating alternate strips. Cultivating alternate stripes. Then, um, the space between the rows of nitrogen fixing trees on which crops are to be planted is called uh, strip or alley. Cultivation is done on alternate strips uh, such as 2, 4, 6 and so on. Alternate cultivation prevents erosion because the upland strips, strips will hold the soil in place. Here we can see that um, uh, this is upland and this is the plowed. And again this is the upland and this is the plowed. That means um, uh, 2, 4, 6. Uh, he, he, here is the uh, plowed then uh, this is not plowed then again plowed this is not plowed then again plowed this is not plowed that means alternate stripes 2 4 6 8 uh, 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 and so on alternate stripes then num uh, sixth stage is uh, planting permanent crops Permanent crops such as coffee, cacao, banana, citrus and others of the same height may be planted when the nitrogen fixing species are shown. Only the spots for planting, um, planting however uh, cleared and dug and uh, later only ring weeding is employed. 
until the hedgerows are large enough to hold on the soil place permanent crops are planted in every third strip tall crops should be planted at the bottom of the farm while the short ones are planted uh, at the top here we can see the planting of per uh, permanent crops and uh, uh, depending on the size and um, first one is uh, cacao then citrus then um, uh, banana then uh, last one is uh, uh, coffee De uh, depending on the size uh, they are uh, uh, planted then uh, seventh stage is uh, planting short term uh, crops uh, short uh, short and medium term income producing crops such as pineapple ginger taro sweet potato peanut mug bean melon sorghum corn upland rice etc should be planted between strips and permanent crops as a source of food and regular income while farmers are waiting for permanent crops to bear uh, fruit here we can see in the um, different types of short term uh, crops um, such as pi pineapple ginger taro sweet potato which can um, provide us um, uh, uh, immediate income so this is the um, technique of salt method uh, in the seventh stage and, and then eight stage uh, trimming trimming of nitrogen fixing trees every 30 to 40 day 45 days the growing hedgerows are cut a, to a height of on on 1.5 meter from the ground the cut leaves and twigs should be piled on the uh, soil around the crops where they serve as a, an excellent organic fertilizer in this way only a minimal amount of commercial fertilizer about one fourth of the total fertilizer requirements is necessary here we can see that uh, nitrogen fixing uh, trees are um, trimming and the uh, leaves and branches are added to the soil which uh, provides organic matter then number ninth uh, is um, practicing crop rotation uh, good way rotating is to plant cereals such as corn or upland rice tubers and other crops on stripes while legumes are planted previously and vice versa this practice will help maintain the fertility and good condition of the soil other management practices in crop growing such as weeding and pest control should be carried out regularly that means we need to rotate the crops such as uh, uh, um, uh, uh, first on uh, first uh, season uh, non legume crops then another season legume crops then legume crops then non legume crops that means um, um, rotation will continue legume non legume legume non legume in this way then 10th uh, stage is um, uh, building building green uh, terraces to enrich the soil and effectively control erosion organic materials such as straw stalks twigs banana uh, branches leaves uh, also rocks and stones are um, piled at the base of the rows of the nitrogen fixing trees as the years go by strong and permanent terraces will be formed which will anchor the pre uh, precious soil in its right place here we can see uh, different types of um, uh, uh, twigs branches stones um, uh, uh, stones ground uh, level old level uh, then uh, they created a terrace which uh, prevent uh, soil erosion which prevent soil erosion then um, uh, th these are the 10 steps of salt method then uh, here we can see some models of uh, salt method, uh, salt mod model such as uh, salt on, salt two, and salt three and salt four. Mainly model are based on the cropping pattern such as um, salt on uh, is uh, based on staple food crops and salt two is based based on uh, fodder crops for um, for producing the meat, milk, and manure crops. Then um, salt um, uh, theory model is uh, based on trees which provide uh, fodder fuel and timber and salt fort is um, based on food crops which provide fruits uh, 
So these are the model of SART 1, SART 2 and SART 3 and SART 4. Then uh, what are the economic uh, importance of uh, SART and the 10 year study showed that even during times of uh, drought um, uh, SART still provides income. However, this economic evaluation did not include the labor cost because the farmer uses his uh, own labor and there are few or no alternative sources of income in, in these areas. The cost included only seeds used for planting, insecticides and fertilizer compared to traditional corn cultivation which yields an annual income uh, of this per hectare. Farming using salt management is almost seven seven times more profitable that means it is very very profitable uh, method uh, so uh, this is all about the salt method which is a um, soil conservation method that's all for today uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching